to more wrestling action here at the 2000 U.S. National Wrestling Championships. We're in the Las Vegas Convention Center, joined by Jeff Blatnick and Randy Lewis. I'm Larry Nugent. You're looking at Joe Williams in the red, going up against Brandon Slay in the blue. And the action goes off the mat to the edge of the platform. And these two met before in the NCAA Finals. They've met several times. Joe Williams has, I think, won every match, but Brandon Slay has taken him into overtime once or twice and given him a, a lot of close matches. These two know each other very well. Well, there's a big stable of wrestlers at 168 pounds that have been fighting for this to take over the uh, heir apparent to this weight class. Joe Williams was the world team member last year, but Brandon Slay has made some great improvements. And he's back he's out there facing Joe Williams for the right to become the number one wrestler. Brandon Slay's had a real good tournament. He's got a real good gut wrench on top. Uh, he, he knows how to shut people down on the feet. And uh, he's wrestled Joe enough to know what he's got. That is really Slay's M.O. Joe Williams, of course, has that double leg. And look for him to try to take out both legs. Both these wrestlers of are, his opponent. are very quick. Joe Williams is really quick. And Brandon Slay is quick, but probably not quite as quick. But he's very strong. And there's oh, a nice front. Oh, front great headlock. move. He and exposes Williams back and scores on the edge of the mat. A clean two-point exposure for Brandon Slay. And now they might put Williams down. They will. They went out of bounds they went out with of bounds. the action. So if Slay could gut wrench him here, he'd get a get a 4-0 lead. It's and that's one of his Slay is a very powerful gut wrench. There's Joe Williams on the bottom, bracing out, but it's Slay really cranking away on that gut wrench. And perhaps Williams did a Slay's good job of countering that. I thought Slay was going to get it for a second there. And maybe Slay saw that Williams was scored on with a front headlock. The only points really Williams Ooh. have given up. Williams and looks Slay vulnerable to it. the uh, gut wrench right there. Williams no has had a very good score. tournament. Wrestling very sharp the whole tournament. Only two points scored on him. That was uh, against Brian Dolph. He got a front headlock for two and rolled through just like uh, Slay did there. Well, Brandon Slay hails from Amarillo, Texas, not too far from Dallas, and he would love to be the number one wrestler when that time comes around for the Olympic trials. Well, that place is famous for the Cadillac Ranch, and he once came up to me, and I started talking to him about his hometown, and I said, yeah, I met this guy named Henry Harmony, did a clinic down there, and Slay looked at me and said, I was at that clinic when I was a kid. So it's a small world here when we talk about the sport of wrestling. Brandon Slay, Graduating from UPenn, runner-up in the NCAAs here, is looking to avenge a loss to Joe Williams in one of those finals here at the national tournament for USA Wrestling, and of course, that number one position at stake. Well, he works for Charles Schwab as an investment specialist, and he's invested a lot of his life in this sport. Brandon Slay's a two-time NCAA runner-up, losing to Joe Williams, who is a three-time champion, and to uh, Branch from Oklahoma State who was a two-time champion and two-time runner-up. So uh, when, when Brandon Slay got to the NCAA Finals, he ran into some very tough wrestlers there. Well, now it's Joe Williams' turn on top. He wants to even the score here. A back exposure would do just that. Slay holding the two-point lead with 33 seconds left in the first period. So Williams now has this opportunity to try the same thing, get a tight lock. The object's to drive forward, get him to plant his hands, and then you drive your leg underneath him and try to get him right in your lap like that. And Williams has really improved Ooh. both on top and underneath in the last year. Williams not able to quite finish. He nearly got Slay to start that motion, but Slay did a good job countering. Roger Reyna, Brandon Slay's college coach from the University of Pennsylvania, looking on. Brandon Slay changing levels there, trying to catch Joe Williams off guard. They'll cruise into the period here. They'll go and take their break, 30 second break before they return. Welcome back to action here at the, welcome back to action here at the U.S. National Wrestling Championships. Joe Williams in the red, going up against Brandon Slay in the blue. These two have been added many times. The score now in the second period is 2-0, and here's how we got here's, there. Here's a front headlock. Brandon Slay has Williams down underneath, gets a front headlock, and rolls through in a high bridge and takes Williams right to his back off the mat for two points, and then they put 
There it is again. Brandon has Williams on his knees, and Williams is backing off the mat, and there's a two-point exposure. Great move, really tight by Brandon Slay. Front headlock roll through for two points. And action commences in the second period. As you saw, Brandon Slay holding the 2-0 lead over Joe Williams. Joe Williams narrowly missed winning a bronze medal at the World Championships last year. Finishing fourth. He almost had a nice single leg attempt here. He trails two to nothing. But unless you get that third point, this can go to overtime. That was very close to being a takedown or being a, a point for fleeing the mat. Joe Williams, one of the quickest athletes I've ever seen. When he does score, it happens really, really quickly. You gotta keep your eyes on the action. He reminds me a lot of uh, Kenny Monday, a former Olympic champion and world champion from Oklahoma State, wrestled at the same weight. They're built about the same and both have tremendous quickness. Monday made three Olympic teams getting a gold uh, and a silver medal. Oh, 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 oh my! Brandon Slay once again with a leg attack, driving the Williams out of bounds. At least one. The, the referee has signaled three points for Brandon, and they give him three. From his feet to his back, Brandon Slay drives Joe Williams out of bounds into danger. And he's going to get parked here. He should be put down. Oh my! What a move! Three points. Shocked. The Hawkeye wrestler came out of nowhere with what Williams is best at, double leg takedown. Well, I think it shocked the crowd here, too. Joe Williams this could has, be a huge upset. Been so dominant, it, it, it stands to be a huge upset. Brandon Slay working hard on top. He has no intentions of letting this one slip away. 5 0 in favor of Brandon Slay training in Colorado Springs, one of the resident training. Roger Reyna, they're very happy with the way Brandon Slay's performing right now, trying to sort him on not to let up. And this would be a huge upset. Brandon Slay came in as a number seven seed. Seventh seed at going against number one seed, Joe Williams. He came in here ready. He knows what he He's does He's had a well. great tournament. Brandon's had a great tournament. There's a lateral drop attempt by Joe Williams as they go off the mat, slip throw. And again, Brandon Slay is using the edge of, mat of, of the mat to his advantage. He's, He's waiting for them to pause a little bit and then he explodes in that was a shot of Jim Zaleski the current coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes how do you feel about that after you bring under Gable about Jimmy being the head coach there sure I think he's done a tremendous job there he's won the national title what all three years that he's been there and uh, with Tom Brands as assistant they're just doing they're just continuing to uh, to keep the dynasty going I was I wrestled and coached there with Gable for 15 years and it was uh, you know it was a great time there well, let's see what Williams can do now, trailing five to nothing. Really quite shocking to most of the spectators and here. Brandon Slay is very sound defensively. He's going to be hard to score on. Dan Gable not happy with the way things are going. After the Lincoln McElravey dominated his match, now it's his Joe Williams facing a 5-0 deficit with only a minute and 13 seconds left. It appears to be an insurmountable lead. We're talking about an Ivy Leaguer here winning our national tournament. And, and really, when you look oh, at the there's another takedown by Brandon Slay. It is Brandon Slay's day here. That there's could another be a take one down. point call. The referee signaled, no, uh, signaled out of bounds. But oh. that is just great wrestling by Slay. That could have easily been another point. You're right, Randy. It could have been. Slay is so well prepared here. From here, I couldn't see the edge of the mat, so I don't know where, where they were at there. But uh, I agree with you, Larry. I think Slay has come in here very composed. You know, he knows his limitations, and he keeps creating the situations he wants. He's and a lot of them are at the edge of the mat. He's wrestled Williams so many times and never beaten him, but he's gotten, he's been very close several times, and he knows what Williams does, so he knows how to maintain position. And, and to come out and hit that three-point move and then a, and, a gut, and a front headlock, he's really wrestled well. Well, credit should be given in part to the USOC resident program where Brandon Slay has lived for the past couple years, and he's... He's trained with Bruce Burnett, the national team coach, there day after day. It's paying off. 42 seconds left. Joe Williams looking for a way to tie the score up. He's behind 5-1. to one. Brandon Slay has always been very hard to score on. And he's actually physical. Especially I mean, he once he gets not, ahead. He's yeah. not showing any respect to Williams. Pushes him away. And Brandon, has very, he's very quick himself. He really is. 
Well, many people felt he was the quickest at getting out of bottom in the NCAA oh, history. Oh, he exploded out. It was like a one second just gigantic burst upward and turning in to face his opponent. Once again, a controversy on the edge of the mat. And it's going to favor, I mean, after what we've been watching, you know, it's kind of hard to believe, but maybe that's a call in Williams' favor. They're going to give him a caution and a point. Williams will keep him up on the feet. And Williams scoring again. Now Williams he's within reach. In he's back in the match. Well, his head is out of bounds, so they're going to go right back down to this down position in the center. Well, we'll Still see. got 16 seconds. He can tie it up. We'll see if Joe Williams has been able to... Uh, Improve his wrestling on the mat they, here. He's they're really got sweaty right now, though. I can't. I, it'd be hard to get a turn in of a gut wrench or any kind this late in the match. With as sweaty as they are, as slippery as their bodies are. Five to three. Well, Sixteen was, seconds left. It was five nothing with 42 seconds left, and Williams has closed it to five three with an opportunity to turn him and get to a tie. Let's see what he can do. Ten seconds. Looking to secure a hold. Joe Williams has the hips locked out. He's close. But he's not going to get it. And this is a major upset. Time this is runs a huge out. upset. Time runs out on Joe Williams and Brandon Slade. Brandon Slade, Slade the number seven seed, who'd never beaten Joe Williams, wins the Olympic Trials ranking tournament, the national tournament. He'll be going back down to Dallas for the Olympic Trials. The number one wrestler, will, everyone else will be gunning to get to him. Back to this stomping grounds. Here's a three point move right there. Slay lifting Williams, taking him from his feet to his back as they go out of bounds. And boy, did they go. Boy, and they went way out of bounds. And that wasn't scripted, ladies and gentlemen. That was the way it is. Roger Reyna, who's done a great job bringing the University of Pennsylvania into prominence, says, Brandon Slay, you're the man. Heather Folks is with Brandon Slay for an interview. Let's go to that. This feels fabulous. Everything's working out the way that I envisioned it and I planned it. I've lost to Joe, I think, four times before this, and and uh, I'll trade this win for all four of those losses. I lost to him in the NCAA finals, but I'd rather beat him here in the senior nationals and lose there. So I'm excited, and I'm. I think the way it's paid for me to to make the Olympic team back in my hometown, Dallas, Texas. So it's working out perfectly. Great. Great. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. And Brandon Slay knows that he's pulled a huge upset off. All the work and drive and determination's paid off for him. We'll be back with our next matchup right after this. Back to the Las Vegas Convention Center. Stay with us.